So today the plan for work is that I start the day shopping and then by 11 I start driving to mission, 12 o'clock being mission, and then we're painting. Little OOTD. I never get to look this cute unless I know that I'm shopping. I'm just looking up the hours of the stores that I'm supposed to go to and realizing none of them are ready. Okay, so that was the shortest shopping trip ever because everything's closed. So I went to Walmart and started looking around there and I couldn't really find like much like charcuterie decorations. So I asked for clarification and then Gracie told me, hey, like actually the stuff in the back of your car needs to go to mission. So we're changing your plan and go drive to mission now. So that's why I'm off to. Okay, you guys, so I'm driving to mission right now. I'm on the highway and they needed the, I called last night and I was like, hey, do you want me to drop off the stuff in my car upstairs for a mission? And they said no. And then I started shopping today. I didn't even get like a good amount done. I only went to Walmart because all the stores were closed. And then they're like, actually, we need all your stuff from your car to go to mission. It's totally fine, I don't actually care because I'm getting paid no matter what, but it's just like knowing it could have been done more productively is the part that hurts because afterwards they're like, drop it off and then go shopping in Mission, but you have to be back before 12. Well, everything in Mission is a little bit more spread out. I don't know exactly how everything is. Like I have the stores in Langley memorized. I know all the aisles and everything. But I just know not as much shopping is going to be done. Like I'm not even there yet. It's, it's over an hour drive. So we're taking like an hour off. We clearly have a lot to do today. I dropped off the signs and now I'm off to help Luana and then I'm going shopping. I'm here at Missionado just waiting for Luana. It's almost 10 o'clock and I need to be back with Ellie to set up the bookstore at 12. So <sighs> we're kind of close. It is 10 11. I could have been shopping for like half an hour now, but that's okay. Things get done and it always looks good in the end. That is the key. That's the key. So this is where we filmed and now we're cleaning it. And there's Rocco's where Riverdale was filmed. Poor Luana, I felt so bad for her. Her job was to get off all of that red stuff on the side of the building. It was so scary, so dangerous. And my job was just to hold the ladder for her. I felt so bad for We're her. We're really low on time. So in one hour, all of the shopping needs to be done. And so I left Luana and now I'm at Dollarama and Walmart's right beside it. So thank goodness they're right next to each other. I was thrilled when they asked me to make a charcuterie board, went straight to the dollar store, got everything I needed. I love making charcuterie boards. If you watch my engagement party vi vlog or even my wedding video, you'll see I have charcuteries at both events. So I was really excited to make this charcuterie for the film. Then I went to Walmart and got the meats from there because you just don't get that at the dollar store. Off to the bookstore to go take lots of reset photos and then set up. So this is how the bookstore looked before. And this is our reset photos. We have to take photos of literally everything and how every exact thing was before. And in a bookstore, obviously that is a lot of work. I arrived and there were no boxes at all. We're totally like setting up a set and no one brought boxes. So I'm buying boxes at Staples, which is just across the parking lot. So real easy. Um, I'm very hungry. It's 12 something and I'm so hungry. There's a team though that just started. They're going from 12 to 12 and I started at eight. So eight to eight. I would be like, uh, I would be so mad if I was starting at 12. I would hate that. That just like, cause you're going till 12 p.m. No, thank you. Or 12 a.m. Oh my gosh, no thank you. 
Also, I see that they're filming here. And I see Crafty and I see Taste Buds. That's the catering we had on another show in Squamish and it was very good. So I'm quite happy about that. And I, should I stop at Crafty? I'm thinking of, I might, cause I'm so freaking hungry. And I don't get fed for at least another two hours. And if I was Union, they would be required to pay me, uh, not to pay me, to feed me every three hours. And I've gotten used to that lifestyle. I looked and there's no catering. Like the catering's there, but crafty where we get our snacks. Hurts. Also, I figured out everybody else. So crew call was at 9 a.m., but I started at 8. So I have to wait an extra hour above my 6 to get lunch, probably. It was there, crafty, because I saw Justin from locations, and I was like, he's normally near the food. So I looked a little closer. And, and I saw the RV because oftentimes Crafty is out of the back of an RV, but I didn't see any RV backs open. So I saw a door was open as I was passing. And so I pulled up literally right in front of her. I was like, hey, Crafty, right? Yeah, Crafty. And I was like, awesome. Like, can I have one of the sandwiches? Cause they went out an hour ago. So she had just a few left over. Um, and then I like go back to my car <laughs> and she's like, wait, are you actually part of the set? I was like, yeah, I'm a set dresser. Like we're just over there and I'm out shopping. I'm never like close enough to set to grab food though. So I'm so happy I saw you. And she was like, oh, okay. Like, you know, I just saw this random person uh, pull up and then drive away. You <laughs> just had to make sure you were actually part of it. I don't know, it was pretty funny to me. Oh, our truck's here. This is how my charcuterie turned out. I'm so proud of it. I learned how to do those meat folds that day. Also, really funny story. My bags were beeping this whole time and I was like, what is going on? And then I realized one of the checkout girls put the checking out oh, thing, no. barcode scanner in my bag. Funny. Here's another photo of the charcuterie I made. I really hope it gets a good shot in the film. Then it was lunchtime. So I just finished lunch and drove over to Dollarama right by Walmart and then I'm driving to Langley and going to Home Depot probably. And then I am going to go be painting at the same place I dropped everything off last week which is our office slash hospital. Went to Home Depot to pick up the paint and now off to power to change to drop it off. Fun fact, all of our painting was over top of vinyl strips. So I just went and dropped off the paint and now I'm pulling up to Best Buy to bring in this computer, like literally a computer monitor and be like, do you guys have a wall mount for this? <laughs> Also, can we just point out this lighting? <laughs> oh, I just drove past it. We'll go right here. Mm. We're gonna do another lap. Guys, this is no filter, no makeup, nothing. Wow, what this lighting. This is, well, I guess it is golden hour. This is the monitor that they wanted wall mounted. I don't know if it's a computer or TV or what, but it was found on Facebook Marketplace and it took like six people at the end of the day to find this, which is what I got. Okay, they are sending me back to Walmart because as soon as I got there, one guy was putting on, like literally you guys, these stores are all beside each other and then I, drive back to power and change which is just it's pretty close it's like three minutes and now in the evening now that everybody's driving around because they're off work it's 10 minutes why are so many people at walmart um oh my gosh yeah so he put on the i bought the poles last night thinking it was for a security camera because they also wanted me to get a security camera that looked like one that was on top of a ton of poles so i got some thick boys 
and then this guy was putting on these for curtains and they're like oh it doesn't fit the poles because these are for a one inch pole and I got a one and a half inch pole so now I'm off buying new ones of these and some curtains this is why they say communication is key they sent me to buy hospital room curtains, but they did not have enough curtains of the same length and color. It was like impossible. I think I needed 12, but all they had was eight max. So here you can see me trying to figure out like how to make it work. I tried doing the same lengths and similar colors, but that just looked weird. So then I think I ended up going with the same colors, but different lengths, which kind of sucked, but hey, on screen, I doubt you can notice it different things and shower linens and then these are just shower linens. I asked a worker if they had any more in the back and she was like we don't keep anything in the back. What's really cool about this set is that wall you're looking at is actually a fake wall and that was the end of my day.